This is Nick with logosbynick.com and in this tutorial I'll be going over how you can change the background color of the canvas here in Affinity Designer. And then I'll also be going over how you could change the color of the surrounding area as well. So in order to change the background color of your canvas, you'll have to convert it to an artboard first. So we're going to grab the artboards tool over here and where it says size, make sure you have document chosen from this drop down and then click on the button right here that says insert artboard. And once you've clicked that button, you will now have an artboard on your screen here and it will be selected as indicated by the blue bounding box around it. And while it's selected, you can come over here and change its fill color like this. And just like that, you can change the background color of your artboard like that. Now, if you want to remove the fill color and make it transparent again, you could just click this little red slash right here and that will remove the color. And if you'd like to apply a checkerboard pattern uh, to indicate transparency, you can grab the select tool, click off of it to deselect it, and then come over here to where it says document setup and under the color tab, check this box right here that says transparent background. And when you click OK, you will have this checkerboard pattern to work with. OK, so let's go over how you could change the, the background color of the surrounding area right here, this light gray. To do that, you'll want to go to preferences. So let's with the selection tool or the move tool enabled, make sure you have a preferences, this preferences button right here. Go ahead and click on that. And we're looking for user interface. And right here where it says artboard background gray level, you can take this slider and change that to darken or lighten it like that. Now, unfortunately, there's no way to apply color to that surrounding area, but you can control the darkness and lightness of it over here. And if you want to set it back to its default at any point, it will be indicated by this little notch. You can just slide that over back over to that notch like that and then close out of it like that. So that is how you can go about changing the background color using Affinity Designer. If you found this lesson useful, consider checking out my Affinity Designer Masterclass. It's a collection of over 60 videos where I go over every single tool and feature in this software and I explain what it is and demonstrate how it works. We even have a private community where you can ask questions and get help from me anytime you want. I'll have a link in the description of the video if you want to check that out. As always, thanks for watching.